Greetings, this is Dr. Derek Ong um, with the next video on teaching you how to use SPSS for research analysis and statistics. Um, so, the last video you would have seen um, how the SPSS environment works and how you can set up data, uh, sorry, set up variables and of course insert data. So, uh, this particular video, I'm going to be showing you how we can do data transformation for, for categorical variables as well as for quantitative variables. So, I'm going to be using a, an example data set which is already inbuilt into SPSS. So, you can follow me by opening up SPSS as well as the data set. Go to File, go to Open, Data. And this data set is usually saved in the C drive under the program files. It depends whether you have program files or program files 86. You have to find the IBM folder, SPSS, statistics, the version, it could be 23 or version 19. Look into samples, English, and um, this is the data set, the only data set with a, uh, uh, with a capital E on it. So open. And this is the data set. Okay, so first thing, um, data transformation for gender, a categorical variable. You notice that this particular categorical variable has a M and F um, uh, M and F um, value assigned to it. The toggle M stands for male, F stands for female. Now, if you remember from the last video, I mentioned that it would be best if um, you do not have categorical valuing, but rather you have numerical valuing for categorical data. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the variable. Uh, next to it. So it's kind of like changing this variable it transforming into a new variable. So click the variable, right click, insert variable. I'm going to set up the variable first. So double click this. I'm going to call this variable gender code. Keeping it numerical, label, I'm just going to give it a name, gender Recode it and put in the values as one as per normal uh, male zero. I'm going to put in a female. Now we're not really bothered about the um, decimals at this point, so we don't have to worry, it's not going to affect us very much. This is going to be a nominal scale. Okay, so here we go. So it's gender coded is waiting for this data to be transformed into here. So what do we do? We go to transform. We go to recode into different variables. Now I have a question of prior law people. Why do you not use recode the same variables? Because you're not going to be using the variables anyway. Uh, my reasoning is this. The reason why I always set up recode into different variables, and this is just a personal preference, is because I never want to change or alter the original data so that in case I might need to use it in the future. So hence, I just make it a point and a habit to use recode into different variables. Yeah, so that's what I do. So input variable is of course the variable that this one we are going to be changing to and we're going to use the output name as the same name here called gender coded gender code yeah. now to ensure that we have the correct name press change and this is supposed to come out if this doesn't come out means you better check this name and this name to correspond with each other Okay, then press all and new values. The old value would be M, new value would be 1. Be sure to add old value 0, um, sorry, F, 
and then the new value as 0. And to continue, press OK. And if you go back to the data, you have the gender code 1 and 0. And of course, if you toggle, you see the male and female. So from now on, we'll be using this variable to represent gender. So thank you for watching. The next video, we'll talk to you about data transformation for quantitative variables.